my medicine cabinet? Who let you in here? How'd you get in my bathroom? Alright, well since you're here, I guess you can hang out and watch me do my skincare routine. Alright, so the first step I do is remove my makeup. And I don't like to go right in with a cleanser to remove my makeup because I like my cleanser to just be able to focus on really deep cleaning my skin. And I like to use micellar water to get my makeup off. Lately I've been using the Bioderma Sensible H2O solution. And I know this is like the bougie micellar water. And I will say it, it does work really well. It takes it off so easily. I've had this one for like two months now and I'm just now getting low. But I like this one because I really only need like one to two cotton pads to do my whole face. All right, just going in on a cotton round here. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I normally don't miss. I really don't want to waste this. It's $14, so I'm not trying to be wasteful. Just absorb that back up. My hands are clean, it's all right. See, isn't that like amazing? <laughs> Look at it. That's like my whole eye. cotton pads. I am putting a headband on because my next step is going in with a cleanser. I like to just splash a little water on my face. I find that it helps the cleanser lather up a little more. Just a quick splash of cool water and I'm ready to put on my cleanser. So for cleanser, for the last month about, I've been using the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. This was a super hyped up product that I had been hearing everybody talk about for like probably a year now and I just didn't get around to trying it because it's $18 and that was a little horrifying to me but now that I've tried it I have to say it's kind of amazing and uh, I'm just warming up the product in my fingers a little bit it just makes it easier to go on but no this Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser is like the real deal. It feels so nice, it feels so hydrating, they were placed one quarter of their water content with rose water, which is amazing and very luxurious. It makes me feel like a queen. <laughs> I kinda like how my skin looks with it on. I look so dewy. So when you're washing your face, you wanna make sure that you're not using really hot water because it can dry your skin out. And you don't wanna strip your skin of any of its natural moisture. And when you dry your face afterwards, you wanna make sure that you either use a new face cloth or a clean paper towel. You don't want to go in with a towel that you've used before that might already have a little bit of moisture stuck in it because your face is fresh. Your face is so clean, so fresh, and so clean, and so wonderful. You really want to make sure you don't risk putting any more dirt onto it. Make sure you pat dry. Again, we don't want to rub our face at all. Don't want to cause wrinkles. All right, so I'd be lying if I said I used a face mask every day. I love this mask from Freeman's. It is an exfoliating mask. It has cucumber and pink salt in it, and it's a clay mask. I like to use this one maybe once or twice a week. You don't want to over exfoliate. It can cause your skin to dry out and get irritated. Just nobody really needs to exfoliate that often, especially this one has salt in it, which is a little drying. Cucumber's hydrating, salt's drying. That's why we're using it after we cleanse and before we moisturize. I'm only gonna put this in places where I am prone to getting a little more oily and breaking out more, which for me is in my T-zone. I will say this mask makes your skin a little itchy. It's because of the pink salt. It's a gentle exfoliant. There's not any like added silicone bits in here like you see in a lot of drugstore exfoliators. So I do appreciate that they use salt, which is a natural ingredient and I don't know, my skin always looks, it looks radiant afterwards. So I have to leave this on between five to 10 minutes. I usually do about seven. So I will see you in seven minutes. My favorite thing about this mask is how good it feels to take it off. Again, we're not using hot water because we're not gonna strip our face any more than the sea salt is. No, it's okay, it's good, it's exfoliating. It's good for you, it's good for you. I like to work it in a little more help finish doing the exfoliating. We don't rub too hard or anything, but we are just gonna 
help finish doing the job real quick before we fully take it off. And look at how refreshed she looks. I don't know. Can you see an immediate difference? I can't, but it feels nice. I feel clean. I feel like if there was any gunk all up in my pores, it's gone now. So, I feel good. All right, so the next step in my skincare routine is to go in with a nice hydrating alcohol-free toner. This one's my favorite. I love witch hazel. Witch hazel is awesome. This stuff is great. You can get it for like $6 in this bottle. I just opened a new one a couple days ago, but my last bottle lasted me five months, which is absolutely incredible. So I just saturate a little cotton pad here. I'm gonna put some hydration back into my skin. It has aloe vera in it, which is awesome. I use the unscented one because I try to avoid any added fragrances in my skincare products. It says that it can be used to cleanse, soften, refresh, and moisturize skin. It does, it does everything really. It also says it can be used anytime throughout the day as a softening refresher. I definitely, take that information very seriously. I probably use this three times a day. I probably use this three times a day and a bottle like this lasts me five months. That's insane. This is such a bargain buy. Like, get some witch hazel. All right, so now that my skin is toned and hydrated, my pH, she's balanced. I'm gonna go in with a chemical exfoliant. Sounds really scary, right? Before I learned what chemical exfoliants were, I thought that they sounded like something that someone with dry sensitive skin could never use. Chemicals? Exfoliants? What the heck? I don't need that. Yes, I do. So I use a lactic acid exfoliant that also has hyaluronic acid added to it, which is great because the lactic acid, it helps brighten the skin and it helps get rid of dullness and it really helps to get deep into your pores but it's not as intense as something like a glycolic acid would be, which if you've heard of the Pixie Glow Tonic, that's what that is. Unfortunately for people with dry skin and sensitive skin, it can just be a little too much and it could possibly be irritating. Now I can't guarantee that because I haven't tried it, so I'm too nervous. But this is my second bottle of lactic acid that I've gone through. Um, the one I'm using now is 10%. I would definitely recommend starting with the lowest percentage you can. That way you can figure out if your skin's gonna be okay with it, how it's gonna react to it. Definitely do a patch test. Put some on your arm first, wait a while, see how that reacts, and then if it's okay, go in on your face. So I just put some in the dropper like this. Probably use like half a dropper full, but I don't fully saturate the pad or anything like I would with the witch hazel or my micellar water. And I will say this can sting a little bit if you've been picking at your skin or if you have any like open blemishes um, just because it it is an acid so you know don't be shocked if that happens um, but I try to focus it on areas where I really want to exfoliate and where I want to brighten so I always hit those cheekbones this part amazes me. I always notice like immediately after my skincare routine, I'll look at my cheekbones and it's like natural highlight, natural highlight, natural highlight. I also focus it on my cheeks down here because I have some redness, which I will say the lactic acid has definitely been helping for sure. All right, let that sink into the skin for a minute. All right, so before I go into my final step, which is moisturizer, I want to make sure my face is a little wet beforehand because moisturizer absorbs a lot better when it has a wet layer to cling on to. It creates sort of a, a film on your face and wet skin allows moisturizer to absorb more, work better, more hydrated, hydration, hydration, hydration. Now that I'm drenched, <laughs> I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. And this one is my tried and true, the Aveeno Daily Calming Moisturizer with SPF 15 in it. I like this one. I've been using this literally since I was in middle school. I think this moisturizer is awesome. It keeps my skin super hydrated, especially now that it's getting colder. This is how I apply moisturizer. It's how my mom always applies moisturizer, so it's what I do. And if I have any extra, I use it to rub into my fingers because my fingers get so dry and cracked and I don't want to be rubbing that all over my face. 
Use it as a little hand moisturizer opportunity. Don't skip the neck. One of the first signs of aging is the neck. Definitely want to bring your moisturizer down to your neck. My skin's pretty dry overall, but if you have more like oily skin, then just focus it on the parts of your skin that tend to dry out a little faster. So for me, that's my cheeks, forehead gets a little dry, and the bottom of my chin gets a little dry. I get dry basically everywhere, so I go everywhere. If you're super oily in your T-zone, just focus it on the outside and use whatever excess is left on your fingers to just give it a light, light tap. All right, that's it. That's my whole skincare routine. If I'm not talking to anyone or anything, that probably takes me like five minutes. No, that's, that's, that's not true, don't lie. Probably takes me about 10 minutes if I don't do a face mask. But uh, yeah, that is my whole routine. I am by no means claiming to be an expert. Nothing else, I hope this caused you to, you know, look up a couple things that you haven't tried before. If there's any takeaways from this, it's witch hazel, hydration, that's it, it's just witch hazel and hydration. Did you see my Garfield tea? SPF, witch hazel, SPF, hydration. Witch hazel, SPF, hydration. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, want to give it a thumbs up, that would be so sweet. Thanks so much for hanging out in my bathroom. Mm -hmm.